Hi. For me, it's been a long time since I made a video like this, and I didn't really have an agenda except that I want to start making videos again because I've been working, you know, with minds and like online curating content for like years now. I took about a year off, but I've been basically my job, my day is like I get up, I start perusing the web for interesting stuff that's going on and I write about it and you know I, there is a poignancy to writing but there's it's nothing like a video it's nothing like hearing someone say it the, it's it's a portion of of what you get when you when you listen to someone talk about something maybe that's arguable but you know I, I've spent years writing about stuff and I also spent years talking about stuff and to watch from the outside perspective of how much more change happens quickly when you talk about it as opposed to write about it. You know, when you write about it, you're just another dolt. The, 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 com the comment trolls are like just as powerful as you are when you're the writer. But when you're talking, you know, you trump the comment people. You trump them. So political establishment. Have you been following it? I know I have. I'm a, I love Bernie Sanders. Uh, you know, I, I think I have a love for all of these people. Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Rand Paul, Jeb Bush. I like them. As people, I think, you know, they're not like demons, but they've all got their agendas. They all have their, their baggage that they've had with them their entire lives, and they are who they are. And, you know, I, Bernie's like... Uh, I mean, he's he's as close to what I can what I can say I, I am. I guess his idea of like socializing healthcare and socializing uh, education is is pretty legit. I would like to be able to see young people able to go to college for free. Amy, my girlfriend Amy, went to vet school in Glasgow, and like it cost two hundred and I don't know how many two hundred fifty thousand dollars because she was coming from overseas, but like for people that are from Scotland, it's free. Um, I think it would benefit our country greatly and just all of humanity greatly if we were able to have free education. I think he said at one point, Bernie was like, it cost us three trillion. If we can spend three trillion on a war, we can spend three trillion on educating our population. Solid. Solid legit. I've got this cat, Johnny, you know, he's, uh, he's pretty active. He's right down there right now. Let's see if I can show you that. Hey, Johnny, what you smelling? What you doing down there? Yeah, climb up the, climb up the chair. He climbs up this chair like it's his mouth. Your voice is as powerful as mine. I understand the mirror of psychology or of consciousness, whatever you want to call it, but that we are like union. You know, we are like each a piece of the puzzle and our power is eminent. So get up and use your voice because we have to, man. The way the world is going right now so I'm looking at it like, I don't like to use negative metaphor. Like, oh, it's so bad. We need to change it. Like, if you say it's bad, you're basically creating a future in which that statement reverberates. So, like, if someone makes a mistake and you're like, you fucked up, you're creating a future where they're going to continue to fuck up. But if you see the problem and stay positive and say... This is how we fix it. This is the the next the the positive path. Then you're creating a future where positive change occurs. So, yeah, there's a lot of fucked up shit. But like Fukushima, how it's leaking radioactive water into the ocean, and it's it's just, it's it's a mess. I think that we can. Well, for one, I think that we can cool down the corium, which is the melted reactor, by pouring a metal into it, like a gold. Because gold, 
Uh, corium, I think, melts at, at, at a temperature that gold melts. Oh, man, I haven't researched this in so long. But basically, if you look at the melting points and the boiling points of corium and gold, gold will, and gold is also a superconductor, so I think it will allow the heat to dissipate out of the corium. Because basically, the corium gets so hot that it melts itself. And it can't release its heat, so it keeps storing this heat, and it makes it so hot that eventually the metal melts into, into liquid, which is what's already happened. But if you pour gold into that, then the gold will also melt, but then it will allow the corium to dissipate the, the heat because of the superconductivity of the gold, and eventually, as it cools down, it'll start to harden, and then you'll get a solid that you'll be able to retrieve. The problem really that they're facing is that trying to get machines and robots into the reactor to even manipulate the core is like the machines just keep shutting down. So maybe they need to make machines out of gold. I mean, yeah, people, the argument is that's expensive, but you know what's expensive is murdering the population of the planet. That's an expense I'm not willing to spend. So throw money out the window. It's not about money. It never was to begin with. It's about survival. And if it means sacrificing gorgeous, beautiful gold, fuck it. We don't need it. We need to save ourselves. The, the Japanese government just gave TEPCO, uh, which is the company in charge of the cleanup of this Fukushima meltdown, the go-ahead to pour... The, the radioactive water into the ocean. So they're like, it's decontaminated water, but it's still radioactive. So because it's decontaminated, they're allowed to pour now the radioactive water into the ocean. So I think that's happening in September. In fact, it may have happened like two days ago. <sighs> From one end, I'm like, you know what? We murder everything on the planet, all the wildlife, all the fish, we murder it all. We'll just genetically re-engineer it because I think the human brain is pot is capable of doing that. But the cost of that is like I'm not just lazily gonna sit by and watch watch us watch people murder the population of the planet because they're too obsessed with their thumbs up their butts playing video games and launching nuclear missiles. Like it's not a video game. We can't we can't sit behind computers and bomb other people and just have fun. You know, it's not fun because if you are going to wage war elsewhere, war will, will be waged on you. It's a mirror. And if it happens in 90 years or 60 years or 20 years, it's going to happen. You can't just dump your trash forever and expect that it's not going to come back and get you because it is. So... You know, storing trash elsewhere is one thing. We we can reuse it, and we're a lot of ways we've built mushrooms. We've found mushrooms that can eat trash, uh, that they can put at the bottom of landfills, and it actually eats plastic. It's like for every problem, there's a solution. So basically, I'll put links to the blogs of some of the stuff that I've talked about in this video so you can check out maybe what the hell I'm actually going on about. It's therapeutic to talk. I just, I mean, do you feel the fucking wave of consciousness where like you're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. Maybe I feel it a little stronger because I let myself feel it stronger or something, but like I've got this tendency to like, I talk about the solutions are great. You know, we can easily come together and unify and see past the physicality to enlighten and be at peace. And part of me is like, wants to just throw a baseball at it, you know, and just smash it in the face. Like I watched these, these tourists go to Costa Rica to just line the beach to watch the sea turtles come in. And there were so many tourists, they were like putting their kids on the turtles and taking selfies with the turtles and, and petting them and stuff. So many like stomping on their nests and shit that, some of the turtles couldn't come in to lay their eggs. They just they just went back to sea. And I, I see that, and I want to just fucking smash people over the head with a shovel. Um, I guess there's humor and negativity to a point. 
uh, I, I'd rather I'd rather perpetuate some of the positivity and the peace that we're all capable of. Have, like racism. What is racism? Firstly, there's the human race. Is eating dog meat is that racist because we're eating dogs and not people, or we're eating like is it, is it the dog race, the human race, the cat race, the elephant race? Is that real? Are there is that a race? Is that racism? Why do we say the human race? I'm like so far past racism. It, it shocks me when someone actually thinks that there's a difference in the human body because of culture or genealogy when the real difference is in the similarity maybe that's a little too a little too hyperbolic Yeah, it's different. You know, we're different. You and me are different. But there's a similarity that unites us. We want the same things. Peace. Like, I I've had a few days in the last month or something where I'm like... Like, I had this, this shocking fear that, like, we're gonna... War is gonna be brought to the United States. That there's gonna be, like, bombs and shit and, like... All this peace and calmness that we have during the day is out the window. That whether it's just another country is just like, fuck it, and they take it to us with like drone bombardment, or our own drone planes are hacked, and they're just turned around and brought back over our skies. But like the chaos, and, and maybe it won't even be man made. Maybe it'll be nature just rearing up and throwing tsunamis and earthquakes at us, which is already happening. Like in Chile, there was just a, an 8.3 magnitude earthquake off the coast. Come on. In, in, uh, in Oklahoma, before like 2008, there was like one magnitude three plus earthquake every 10 years. One. Now, last year in 2014, there were 685. Is that right? 585? There, were, there was over 500. There was one every 10 years. Last year, because of fracking, there were over 500 of them in one year. Earthquakes, like destructive, whether it's minorly destructive with attrition, they've just been causing billions of dollars of property damage. Because they're sucking water, they're shoving water into the earth and then sucking it out and it's causing all this, this crazy tectonic instability. So I don't want that to happen. I don't want us to destroy ourselves. And it's like sickens me that we're perpetuating this bombardment in the Middle East like it just doesn't matter. Like, like it's okay because, because you've, you've rationalized that maybe it's okay because there's a reason for it. The ends don't justify the means. And the ends you're going for, which is to stomp out terrorism, doesn't happen. Terrorism is a result of brutal behavior. I'll put some links to the shit I'm talking about. And I'm going to balance.